How you doing? Hey, good. Good to see you. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it has. Uh, you want a haircut today? Sure, sure. Uh, take a seat, please. Seat. Uh, how, how much did you? How much did you want off today? About an inch. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Style or no? You are? You want it curly? Yeah, yeah, we look decent like that, yeah. Okay, um, let's get started. Not curly, messy. It's popular nowadays. You said curly, I thought it could be messy. Oh, let's get started. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna come around here. Now we got it a bit more wet. We should be good to cut it now. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm just not. Yeah, you're doing great, doing great. Okay, do the side here. Pretty good. Starting to look really, really swell. So, yeah, okay. Yep. Um, sorry, I just thought I saw that another client come in. Uh, I was just sometimes their doorbell malfunctions.
I'm a busy man, so. It's cool right now. Get out. Studying to become a professional. Wow, you're doing really well. Okay. Let's see how this looks. That looks, uh, looks uh, pretty good. This is probably going to be a little, a little water in there, you know. Okay. Great. Yep. Starting to look. Looks looking really good. I'm just getting a few more finishing touches. Yep. Okay.
lot better. Yeah. If you're a touch shop, I mean, you don't know. That is the best of us. Yeah, so, uh, thank you for uh, coming up to the salon today. Thank you for welcoming me back. Yes, I know it's been quite a while, maybe like a month and a half. It's, uh, it's been, been quite a while. Yeah. I hope to see you again. Oh hey, what's up? Welcome back. We're gonna get you today. Mhm. Mm Another haircut. All right, all right. Do you want it? Did you want it? You know, like mine, like a little short. Or did you want it trimmed or your decision? See if we can do that for you. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. I think that's going to be possible. Scissors here. Let's, uh, let's do this. It said about two inches off the top. One and a half now. One and a half. Got it. Okay. Sorry. Didn't mean to bump you there. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just. moving around trying to get your hair absolutely perfect okay. mm -hmm. yep, you're doing great mm -hmm. Side here. Yep. And just a little bit over here. Just a tad. Okay. Let's turn up the blue here. Don't mind me. Just gotta take a drink. Mm -hmm. A little bit off the top. Even it out a bit. Yep, you're starting to look really good. We get some water in that and it's a bit dry. Yep. Yes. The perfect amount of water. Sorry, I didn't want to get your face all scratchy, you know. All those hairs coming down really starts to bother you after a while. Trust me, I know. <laughs>
such a beauty. Truly amazing. I wish I had hair like yours. Then again, maybe I don't. Nothing bad. It's just with my hair. I get a lot of compliments on my hair, you know. <laughs> Not right now, at least. I just got it all cut off. It was becoming a bit too hot in the, uh, in the parlor here, you know. It's going to be a, little, a tad too hot. It's starting to get my head and become a little top heavy. Yeah, you know. Stuff like that. So, uh, you got plans for the weekend? I right, just wondering. You know? Hmm. If someone of, if someone of you looks at a figure you have, you know. Dates all around. <laughs> no, not so much. I see. It felt a little bit more on the face. Get that for you. Yep, I did get that for you. Okay. I'm so sorry about all the hair is falling on your face, you know? Yes, you do have a lot, a lot of hair. How long's the last time you had a cut? When you were with me. That was quite some time ago. I was almost, if not a year. Yeah. Quite some time ago. Yeah. Oh, you're looking for me? <laughs> yeah. I've been out for a little bit, yeah. I've got multiple jobs. second job isn't taking up most of my time. This is just kind of like a side job for me. I just really love working with people's hair. I think of it as an art, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, your hair is a true masterpiece, so let me tell you what. Excuse me for a minute. Sorry about that. Yes, your hair is just... Well, yes, there's a lot of it. It's nothing... Nothing that I can't handle. I'm a true master in my craft. I know I'm making this sound extremely corny, but I'm a true master in my craft. I'll get you done to fright. <laughs> Sign. Ooh. Sorry about that drop my brush. The glass right here now. There we go. This brush. Yep, okay. Just uh brush those off. Get a little more on your face here. There you go. Absolutely perfect. Sorry about that. My finger got caught in the scissors. Didn't want to let go. Assessing the situation, if you will. <laughs> just, just have another look here.
Sometimes it does take me a minute to get it going, you know. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. But yes, sometimes it does take me a quick minute. You sometimes even a quick second to figure out what I gotta do next with a true masterpiece like your hair. Bigger, bigger hairs. Bigger hairs require for bigger snips. water I'm drinking is really weird. So what do I do? Drink more of it. Sorry about not turning my scissors, don't worry, that's just, that's, nothing that's gonna hurt you. That's just from, years of, years of hair cutting. Okay. Nothing at all, right? don't worry.
just about finished. Just a few more snips and I think you should be good to go. at this place so everybody tries to get me you really need an appointment I mean I mean really like it's just I'm a very busy guy you know you know and that second job is taking up most of my time yeah yeah you're lucky you scored an appointment Good. Well, thank you for coming in today. It's a pleasure doing your hair again. That masterpiece of a hair. Yes, it was a pleasure. The receptionist can take you up at the, up the front desk. You can make your payment. You can go home. Looking beautiful once again. You have a fantastic day, and maybe I'll see you in a few months. Maybe? Yeah. I like the sound of that. You're one of my favorite customers. Alright, well, thanks. Bye now. Ah, come in. Take a seat. Yeah, I was just checking up on my appointments. Uh, how are you? Good? It's great. So, uh, it's been a while since you got your hair cut, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it definitely shows. Yeah. Uh, uh, what were you looking to get done today? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the majority of it. About, uh, looks like... Yeah, it definitely looks like you need one. Ah, uh, yeah, everything's... All the barber shops have been closed and haircut places. Yeah, they've all been closed, but we opened. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're ready to get started if you are. Yeah, absolutely. I'll uh, get started right away. First, I'm just going to take some water. Uh, this just makes it easier for me to cut it. Uh, just making it wet, you know, so just... All right, yeah. Yeah, okay, that looks good. All right. Now we're uh, ready to get started. I'm just gonna stand up and I'm uh, gonna start moving around you, you know, just to you know, really get a good angle at your hair, okay? All right. So start over here. Just hold nice and still for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's just see. So, any particular reason you came in with a haircut today? Any special occasion? Any job interview? Anything like that? No? Just just feeling a... Just feeling a bit top-heavy? Yeah, uh, I understand that. I haven't even gotten my haircut yet. Uh, I've still got this, you know... It's really getting, really getting long and curly. Mine, at least. Yours is too. Yeah, yeah. Um. You're, uh. 
Oh yeah, yeah, you're fine. Absolutely fine. Where'd I put that towel? Yeah, I'm just, you know, wiping off the, uh, off the, the excess hair. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're, you're starting to look really good. doing fine. Let me just uh, move around to the other side here. Oh, almost fell. Sorry. It's been so busy since we opened that uh, it's been a bit of a tight squeeze. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's been a uh, been crazy since we opened. I'm just gonna take a look at you. Perfect. Just maybe I can get a better angle if I'm sitting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh no, you're doing fine. Yeah. This won't take but a minute. So how have you been during uh, all this uh, all this quarantine and lockdown and stuff? How have you been? Good? That's awesome. Oh yeah, it's been tough on everyone, especially me, but you know, you gotta make do. Have to make do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got that. And it's been tough finding a job for everyone, luckily, uh, we opened again, so, um, yeah, mm -hmm. oh, you're doing fine, you're doing fine, it's starting to look really good, too, you can see it, but now it's just now it looks perfect we're not done we're not, we're not done yet <laughs> we just started yeah well mm -hmm. oh, no. this is this is perfect you're you're doing looking fine I didn't think it looked bad at all before. I thought it looked, I thought it looked good. Um, it certainly needed to be cut, but it did. It didn't look bad or anything. Yep, so it's good that you came in. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good thing because you know everyone's growing their hair out now ever since quarantine started because places haven't been open. They got to cut. You know. Sorry for all the noise upstairs. Uh, there's. Uh, there's stuff that runs upstairs, you know, different offices and stuff. We, yeah, this building's got multiple businesses, and uh, yeah. fine. No, you're great. Let me just move around to the back again. Alright. Grab that, grab that towel. 
Hell again. Mm hmm. Sorry for the loud noise it's making. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. No, you're fine. Yeah, it's, it's starting to look good. It's starting to look really good. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to get a better look at the hair. That's why I'm touching your head. You know, getting the spots I need to. Sorry, I served for all the gross noises. I uh, had a drink before I came in. Energy drink. No, not, not an alcoholic beverage. No, no. Uh, yeah, I just, uh... Had a, had a nice, nice red bull before I came in, you know, it is, it's quite early at, at this time, so I just had to get my energy in for today. Let me have a look from the front. Good. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You're gonna be alright. Your hair looks perfect now. Just getting some finishing touches in. No, not long at all. Yeah, just one of the. Couple finishing touches in with the scissors. Mm -hmm. You're good. Yeah, that looks fine. Just let me grab that rag and get a get a towel and get a couple loose hairs off of you. Hmm. Oh yeah, you. Sorry about that. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, you look great. Um, oh, it's perfect now. Like it was okay before, but now you now you look perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in, and don't wait too long. Get your haircut. Yeah, I know it was kind of forced. Um, but yeah, now that we're in. Uh, we're starting to come out of quarantine, I guess uh, you'll be getting your haircut a lot more now, right? Yeah, right. Well, um, it was nice talking to you again. Catch you later. Bye. Ah, come in. Have a seat. Yeah, we take walk-ins. How are you? That's great. So you, you don't have an appointment then if you're asking about walk-ins, right? You don't? Okay. Um, well, welcome. Uh, my name is Ash. I'll be your stylist for today. Um, yeah, I know. I need one myself. And a shave too, right? Uh, 
Well, uh, what were you looking at having done today? Okay. Just having a look here. My hands are sanitized. Yeah. I see about those sideburns there, yeah. Okay. So, you, you want a little off the top? How much were you looking at? A good bit. Okay. Not to worry, I'll just put in my uh, schedule here that I am booked right now. Take a seat, and uh, we'll get started. I think we'll, uh, we'll start with the bangs first, because uh, that's what you usually start with, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So is this for, like, a, a job interview or something like that? No? Uh, just feeling top heavy. Uh, I understand that. Yeah, we all, we all happens to all of us. Not to worry about that. Yeah, we're just uh, get to work on the sideburns there. Yeah, the, you let them really grow out there, didn't you? Is that right? Uh, yeah. I went through that too. Mm hmm. Oh, you should have seen my sideburns. Gosh, they were. They were really something else. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they were. I didn't even realize. See, my problem was that when I would shave, I was scared that I would make the. Uh, make the sideburns uneven, so I just didn't shave them. <laughs> right? Ah, oh, jeez, yeah. Oh, they were bad. They were really bad. They were. If you've seen me before, you've probably seen my sideburns. It wasn't too long ago that I looked like that. Oh, yeah. Have a look here. Uh huh. Were you, uh, so, how does that look so far? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, if you can see it in the mirror there, yeah, it looks, it looks good. Okay. Pardon me? Oh, yeah. This is, you're going to look great after this, let me tell you. You're going to look fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, sorry. Were you just seeing my shirt? Well, I don't think it was bad to begin with. I mean, you look, you look decent when you walked in here, yeah? Yeah, but it's definitely going to help to get, uh, get this all touched up. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it didn't look bad. Obviously, there's room for improvement. <laughs> oh, yeah. You should see the other people that come in here. They come in here looking like a, a Sasquatch, and I'm like, I have to deal with that now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That happens at least twice a day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it's not that big of a deal, you know. Surprisingly enough, I'm pretty good at my job. So, yeah. It's uh, not that big of a deal when they come and look at it like that. Oh, yeah, it happens at least twice a day. At least. How's that look so far? Anything else? Anything you want done differently? Well, the, I can't really paint the, the hair off the floor, but you know, anything like you want me to work on after I'm done?
touching up the top. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, well. Don't want scissors around now. Oh, sorry about all that noise. Yeah, that's, uh. My building's upstairs, you see. Oh, yeah, they. These old walls make all sorts of noises, and there's someone coming down the steps. And across the floor. Mm-hmm. Well, you know. The other offices in this building. It's not too big of a deal unless you're trying to relax, you know, there it's up. You know, for the people come here that just want to relax and get their hair cut. You know, that complaints a lot. You know, I don't really get that lot of not that many complaints actually. People just say they, they they tune it out, you know. Yeah. Well, there's, a, there's some more noises. Well, you see, it bothers me because it ruins my concentration you know, on your hair uh, to the client, and it doesn't, it doesn't really concern them. And most people come in here, even if they're trying to relax and get a haircut, they just do it out. Yeah, you should do the same. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. They just reached the top of the building. <laughs> oh yes, this looks, this looks fine. This looks fine. So, trying to see where I should go next with it. What do you do? You think? What do you think so far? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Did you want? Ooh, button came undone. <laughs> That's what I get for adjusting my shirt so often. Sorry about that. Well, get on with it. Did you want anything uh, done once I was done cutting? Like a gel or anything? No. No sort, of, no sort of style, just let it go, be where it wants to be. Yeah, well, that's how I want my hair. Would you believe I've never used a comb or a brush in my life? It looks like it now, I know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't really get bedhead. You know, you wake up and your hair looks awful. I just wake up and go about my day. Yeah, it looks, well, usually when my hair is cut, it looks a lot better than it grows out quite quickly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my hair grows back so fast. You'll be back here in two months. Yep. A month, probably. <laughs> yeah. Just touching up those side friends there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks fine now. There goes a fast call. See, yeah, the clients that come in trying to relax, they just they just kind of tune that out. So you should do the same. Uh, let me check on something here on the computer. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Just check out uh, future appointment. Couldn't remember what time it was. I have that problem all the time, you know. I schedule something and I just completely forget about it. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, yeah, it's a crazy time out there, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're, we started accepting walk-ins because uh, business has been pretty slow with uh, quarantine and all that. You know how it is. I mean, business is 
obviously going to be slow because no one really wants to come in during all this. But what are you going to do? That's so why we started taking walk-ins just to encourage people to come in, keep our lights on. Ooh. Sorry about that. I'm shaking in there. Yeah, we just, you know, we need to keep our lights on, you know. You know what I mean? Ooh. Oh, dropping stuff now. Brussels throwing them now. I'm dropping them. Yeah, I mean, such a crazy time. It's just totally up in the air whether our doors will be open or not, right? Small businesses like this, I mean, who knows? Who knows? No. I, don't, I try not to worry about those things. I try not to overthink things. I mean, yeah. It's a possibility that I might go out of business, but one on one still happens, right? By that time, you're over it. If I spend, if you spend your life overthinking things, you know, I tried going for, for some inspiration there. Nothing came up. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you spend your life overthinking things, when it happens, it'll be a bigger deal. Then, then it's actually it's not going in a business. Of course, it's a huge deal that puts my entire family in our jeopardy. But I just I want to have to find another job. You know, that's what a lot of these small businesses are doing when they close down. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's sad. It's just really sad. It's, it's disheartening to see all these small businesses go out. I mean, people just trying to make a living, right? Just like me. Just like me. Well, let's see. Uh, that looks, it looks fine to me. I mean, uh, uh, how, how does it look? How does it look there in the uh, in the mirror? Yeah, looks good. That's awesome. Uh, well, thank you for coming in. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no problem. Just uh, tell your friends. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, our doors are open, so yeah. it was nice to meet you. You have a good one. Bye. Hello, hi. Welcome to my barber shop. Uh, let's get you started, shall we? Get this wrapped around here, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on. Start with the uh, scissors here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you got a date or something, or just a special occasion? No? No, just, yeah, I saw you. I see it's a bit of a mop top there, yeah? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. A little bit of a hairspray in there, yeah? really awesome. Yeah, that's... Yeah, well, you're gonna feel like a new new person after this, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Just uh, brush off that excess there, yeah. Absolutely. Perfect, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Alright, you're, uh, Go, let me take that off you. Yeah. Good to go. Thank you for stopping in and have a great day. Bye now. Hey. How you doing? It's good. Good. Uh, you in for your six o'clock? Sure. No problem. Uh, let me just see here. Ah, haircut and shave. That's no problem. So, um, let me have a look here. Yeah. It does, uh, yeah, it certainly looks a little scruffy. Uh, what did you want to do with uh, the beard? Completely off? That's no problem, no problem. Uh, let me see here. So just off completely. Yeah, I can see how that could work. Yeah, you don't want it trimmed or anything, just, okay, completely off, yep. 
And what about your hair? Let's see up here. What about this up here? Is this, uh, yeah, it's quite long. Yeah, I'll give you that. Um, you just want that trimmed? Okay, yeah. Shorter on the sides and fuller on the top. Okay. Any preferences with which we start with? Beard? Sure, no problem. Start preparing the lather. Um, so, uh, how are you today? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah. It's a little snowy outside. Uh, yeah, yeah. God, we had so much snow. I actually uh, just got done traveling across the country, and we actually got snowed in Ohio. Yeah, yeah it was rough. So, are you going, you got to think of, I don't know, a job interview or anything like that? No? Just feel a change in look? Yeah, I get that. I totally get that. Lather is ready. Just got this hot towel ready. So, uh, this is come, this is a warm towel and what I'm gonna, it's going to basically relax your face and make it a lot easier for me to maneuver uh, with the straight. Close your eyes and relax. Alrighty, let's see here. Uh, gonna count to ten, and uh, that's when I'll take off. Alright? You got it in there? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How's that? So I'm gonna start leathering you up and uh, get some more on the brush here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this leather. Well, yeah, we use them in the shop. Uh, we actually sell it uh, up at the front there if you'd like to buy some for yourself. Sure, sure. We'll, we'll get that ready for you. All right. Let me see here. Let me, uh, get the brush ready. Almost dropped it. <laughs> I'm a bit clumsy with these kinds of things, as you, as you may know. Just sit back and relax. Yeah. Sorry, just checking over here on the computer, checking my appointments. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right, that's good. That's really good. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, that's good. That's really nice. All righty. Now we got you uh, all lathered. You can be in the straight right now. Shave. So uh, just close your eyes, relax. I'll try to keep things as relaxing as possible here at my barber shop. So just take it easy, alright? Great. I'm just holding the side of your head there, so. Oh, you've got nothing to be nervous about. No, absolutely not. I've known this for 15 years. You're in good hands. Very good hands. All right. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, uh, we pride ourselves in master, master work. You know, I've been to barber school and you know, things like that, but I mean, you are in such good hands. I mean, we've got absolutely nothing to worry about. No cuts here, right? Get the mustache. How long have you been growing this out? It's really, uh, looks really full, yeah. That long, whoa. Uh, yeah, I 
I shave like every week. I mean, I just, <laughs> I just, I really, I, I can't. To be perfectly honest with you, I see other one people come in here. And uh, I, okay, I say to myself, every single one of them will look better without a beard. Not a huge fan on beards. That's, well, that's why I shave them. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I can see how they could work for some people. But I mean, I mean, everyone that comes in here, it's just. Not, not to say that they're ugly or anything, but some people look better with beards and without beards, you know what I mean? And you, I mean, I can tell you right now, you're going to look a million times better. Especially when we get that haircut. You are going to be magnificent. Yep. Magnificent. done with the beard at this point. Uh, just doing a couple touch-ups. Yeah. Do you mind if I just uh, saturate it a little bit? It's just water here. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna make it easier to shave, you know. Just a little bit of water to make it a little easier, you know what I mean? Because when it's scruffy, like it was when you walked in, um, it uh, was easy to cut when it was dry. I mean, it was all right there. But now, we're, now that we're getting down to the fine points, uh, it's just it's uh, a little more difficult to uh, shave when it's dry. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's actually a, a, an interesting uh, Interesting school I went to. It's a uh, man. It was. I learned a lot. I mean, that's why I perform here. I mean, it's only the best here at my barber shop. Only the best. Alrighty. Let me uh, get that excess lather off for you. It's still pretty warm, so. Good. Yeah, that's great. That's great. All right, now moving on to your uh, your hair there. And this I am most certainly going to just saturate right away, um, just with a little bit of water. Yeah. Do you want me to put gel up through it or anything? Or? Sorry, taking eight points again. Also checking time. <laughs> We've been so busy with just appointments out the walls. You know what I mean? So it's. We gotta keep an eye on the time, right? But, um, anyways. So, do you want me to run through, like, some gel through it? Or, or anything like that? No, just... You said shorter on the sides and then fuller, but still shorter on the top. Sure, yeah. Now let's go on in. That's good, that's good. Alrighty. That's, uh, another thing today uh, while your hair wasn't as uh, scruffy as your beard uh, I think good old sisters should do just a trick so go ahead and just relax for me mm -hmm. yeah And you think that that beard looks, yeah, oh, yeah, it's, well, 
what used to be a beard, you're completely clean now. I mean, it looks, it looks terrific. I mean, like I said, the beard wasn't bad, just a little scruffy, but without it, I mean, it's, it's the perfect look for you. Let me tell you. Like I said, I've seen everyone come in here with scruffy beards, and I keep saying to myself, you'd look so much better without a beard. I mean, it's just, I don't know. Just anyone who walks through here, and they all want it completely off, because I tell them, hey, you look better without a beard. I mean, I mean, it's just, just the way it is. I mean, with without beards, some people can pull off beards, some people can't. I cannot, as you can tell. Uh, it's not going to great. I need to shave actually quite soon. Yeah, yeah, I think it looks, it's looking decent, obviously not done yet, but it's, it's coming out, it's, uh, it's really coming out to be perfect, let me tell you. Okay. Yeah, alright. How's that look? Yeah? I think we're done, my friend. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, yeah, yeah, no worries at all. Yeah, you can pay up at the front. You said you wanted the lather, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll get that all set up for you, get it packed up, and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, well, thank you very much for coming in today and seeing me. Said we strive to be the best here. So, thank you, and uh, you have a great day. Bye now. Oh, hey there. How you doing today? Good, good. Uh, what can I do for you? Okay, haircut and a uh, shave? Yeah, that's no problem, no problem. Uh, any particular way you wanted your hair done? Uh, and are we doing a complete shave or? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we can do that for you. So just, just let me see here. About how much of the top? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we can definitely do that for you. Yeah, I know it looks like I need a haircut myself. Not sure when I'm going to get time to do it, though. Yeah. Is it just about that much? Okay. Yeah, we can totally do that for you. Some hair spray in first, uh, just to uh, wet it up and uh, not really hair spray, but just water, and uh, that'll make it easier to cut. So let's just see here. Okay, a little bit here. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. One more. Perfect. Just get that all in there. Did you just get off work or? Yeah. Long day. Oh yeah. I've been there. Yeah. yeah it's a working world, you know. Go ahead and get started. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. Seasonal allergies and all that. What do you do? For work, I mean. Mm hmm Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got friends in the friends friends in that industry, yeah. Yeah, they all seem to really like it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is starting to look really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've been growing my hair out for, what, close to six months now. Probably more than that. I can't really remember. I remember the last time I got a haircut. Yeah, I thought about getting it cut, but in the end, you know, it was just like, don't have enough time to get it cut. It's funny, I'm a hairdresser, and I don't have time for it. You know, with all the clients and everything, you know. Yeah, I don't mind the noises in the back. A lot of other, a lot of other offices in this building. So if you hear anything in the back, just tune it out. Yeah, we try to keep things as relaxing as possible here at the, in the salon. Yeah. Yeah. Get a couple, couple more drops of water. Couple more sprays. So just, uh, just relax, right? Uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Mm hmm. That's good. That's perfect. Sorry, I hurt my thumb the other day. Yeah, I hit it off of the door frame, and man, did that hurt. That's why I keep adjusting the scissors, because man, it really hurt me. Yeah, it's swollen a little bit, but no, nothing crazy, just a little painful. Yeah, yeah, I actually just got a new cat. Yeah, she, she's, she's a real sweetheart. But, uh, you know, I, I still have my, my other cat at my, my parents' house. Unfortunately, I didn't want to move him. Uh, and the reason for that was, well, he's just simply getting old, and I think he's content with where he is. Yeah, Morrison, yeah. yeah I, got, I got a new cat. Gosh, she's adorable. Still kind of getting used to the place, but she'll get there. Her name's Zelda, actually. Yeah, I named her Zelda after, obviously, The Legend of Zelda. My favorite game series of all time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's looking good. Perfect. Hmm. My thumb. Starting to shave for you. So you wanted a little bit more up the top? Yeah, just a little bit more? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sometimes, you know, when we, we see our haircuts, you know, it, you want something different. I get that. Yeah, you know, when you see the finished product, and it's like, eh, maybe not. 
totally fine. How's that? Good? Okay. Well, let's get started on this show. Yeah, we do. We do it straight here. We need the shaved butter ready. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, we sell this actually in the front shop there. Uh, if you wanted to buy some of it, just come with the brush and everything. Yeah, I'll put you down below. You have to supply your own straight razor. We don't actually sell those here, but um, yeah, you know the the kits they they they've been selling really good. You know, without them trying to do straight razor at home. Then most of the time they find their way back here anyways because they can't do it properly, but <laughs> whatever, right? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. It's not on your face. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, straight razor shades are completely relaxing. Yeah. Especially with a haircut. I mean it's it's a shame I don't get haircuts more often. Try to do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, when we moved to this location, uh, what I didn't account for was construction right next door. Yeah, it's real great. <laughs> Especially when I'm trying to do things with like trying to be quiet. Things like that. Oh. Usually why I have to do things like early in the morning. Like this appointment you schedule slightly earlier. That's all that we have because we do try to keep things as relaxing as possible and that construction does not make it easy. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I didn't really account for that. But it, we took what we can get, I mean with current market and everything. Don't even get me started. You know, believe it or not, we moved into this location at the end of May. May of this year. At the very end of May, it was the very last week, and we had been looking since November of last year. Yeah. So that's what, six months? About, just about, whatever. Maybe over. Don't really feel like doing the math in my head, but you get the idea. Just, I mean, finding a suitable location. I mean, there were locations available, but locations for our needs. Which wasn't there until the end of May. Yeah, well, we got it, so. It's whatever at this point. A little bit more shade butter in there. 
Sorry, I think I just missed, I missed a few spots. Keep going. Hey, you really grew out this beard, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, I shave almost regularly. Um, sometimes I grow it out, but most of the time when I grow it out, I just shave it anyways. Well, I do that because uh, when I was, when I was, uh, when COVID was in its height, right? You know, when all that was in its height, and I had to wear a mask, the, the facial hair just really irritated. Uh, the mask really irritated the facial hair. Like, in the point where, like, I, like, I couldn't just stop, I just couldn't stop scratching it. Uh, it was distracting me from work and this and that. So, yeah, I just, I had to shave, you know. Okay. Well, I think that looks good. Uh, just get a couple sprays on there to kind of wash out. Put that shave butter on your face. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Alrighty, well, thank you so much for coming in, eh? Um, it was a pleasure to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, you can pay up front, we'll have that kit ready for you and everything. Alright, well, take care and I'll see you then. Bye. Can we quickly sit down and get comfortable? Just gonna get a little bit of hairspray in there for you. Getting a little bit more hairspray. Okay, that's good. Just how much did you want off? Let off the top. Okay. That's good, that's good. A little more hairspray there for you. Start out like that, yeah. Good. Just like that, yeah. Yeah, looks good. good. Just a little more, a couple more inches. Yeah. That's good. Thank you for coming in and seeing me today, and I've had way too much caffeine. You have a great day. Come in. Yeah, have a seat. Get comfortable. How you doing today? Good, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you're in for your haircut? Okay. Um, so, how much did you want off the top? Okay. You want to shave, too? Yeah, sure, no problem. I can do that for you. Uh, well, I'll just get started, I guess. Get all bored. Mm. Yeah. It's a long day. It's actually been kind of slow here, to be honest. Yeah, you know, when it's slow here, not much we can do. Right. Which is my only customer I've had today. Just not the day, right? So, Wait, real quick, how much? Uh, just show me real quick how much you want off. About, about that much. Okay. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, my day was okay otherwise. And when we do the shave, uh, did you, do you want clean shave or trim or clean? Okay. Is there a review of the straight, straight razor shave? Yeah, that works. Yeah, we don't really do the Gillette stuff. We just, uh, go at it with a straight, right?
Yeah, we don't really do clippers here. We just uh, we got all the scissors, right? And I apologize if you can hear any noises outside. We're next to a busy highway, so sorry about that. But we try to keep things as relaxing as possible here. It's easier to use the scissors with my right hand. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not left-handed. It's a little bit more difficult with my left. I can do it, but you know, just might as well go ahead with the right. Get that quick right. Sorry. Yeah, we're just about closing. How's that look? Good. Yeah. Just uh, get my tools. Find some hairspray there. You want me to style it? Yeah. Okay. Get some hair gel. Before we do these shades, you know. With a clean shave, we're not going to be doing any styling, so we'll just get your styling out of the way first. Mm -hmm. How's that look? Good? Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, it really suits you. So uh, we'll just move straight on to the shave. For that, I'm just going to get some shave butter.
your eyes, relax, and enjoy. Start to look really good. How's that look? Good? Great. Thank you for coming in and seeing me today. Yeah, no problem. You have a good one. Bye. Hey, take a seat. Get comfortable. How you doing today? Good, good. So, uh, what were you thinking about doing? 
Okay. Just mind if we just have a look? Yeah. Yeah. So just how much did you want off? Okay. That's that's good. Um, did did you want the the, the full shaved? No, no, just a haircut. Just a haircut. Okay. Yeah, I think that I think that looks good. Um, we'll just get started then. So uh, did you just get off work or anything like that? Oh, you're off today. Wow. Lucky you. Yeah, it's been pretty slow today, actually. Guess that's to be expected, but... I think this is starting to look good. Yeah. Excuse me, how hot it is in here. It's quite humid out, and well, as you can imagine, it doesn't exactly help with uh, how much work I have to do. Yeah. Looks good. Oh, me? No. I haven't gotten a haircut in months. I have a, I don't really, uh, it's weird, I don't really like haircuts. I don't like getting them done. It's weird considering my job, <laughs> but yeah, I don't, not really my thing. For my hair longer. Excuse me. So is this for a special occasion? No? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't always have to be for a special occasion. Right. Yeah, I can actually uh, do it right-handed and left-handed. It's, it's a skill of mine. Kind of pick these things up as you work in the trade. There. Yeah, that's, that's starting to look good. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, I, I don't really do much, much talking. I don't know. 
you know, other hairdressers you see in the top gear are off, but no, not really, not really me. I, uh, I just kind of do my job. Yeah, I use so much hairspray. Uh, just your, the type of hair that you have and uh, how thick it is, it really, it really does need it. Uh, but don't worry, it's not. It doesn't like leave a smell or anything. If that's what you're worried about, yeah. Yeah, no, no smell. Uh, no really residue or anything like that. It's not a gel. Uh, it's just, it just makes it a little bit easier to really get in there and, and, and do a good job. Sorry if you hear any noise or from outside, either from outside or in the building. Um, a lot of other offices in this building and also right next to the highway. So I apologize for you hearing anything that um, could disturb you. We try to keep things as relaxed as possible here. Yeah, we keep it relaxing uh, because I. We get people in like me that don't really like haircuts, and uh, it just kind of helps them get through it. Oh, they're running out of hairspray. It really helps them get through it, and uh, and it makes it kind of go by faster for them. So we just kind of do that for everybody. We're almost done here. Uh, did you want a style or anything at the end? Yeah, a bit, bit of a messy look, kind of like me. Um, I'm flattered that you like my hairstyle. It's uh, not really much of a style. Would you believe I even, I don't do anything to it? Uh, you know, I, I clean it, you know, a shampoo, conditioner, whatever. But I don't really go in with a brush or anything like that. I just wake up and I go. Pretty crazy. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of shampoo do you use? Okay, the good stuff. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a reputable brand. And uh, do you use any kind of conditioner or anything like that? You do? Okay. My technique is actually I um, I use a three-in-one. It's a shampoo, conditioner, body wash. But because of the type of hair that I have, which is similar to yours, um, I had to follow it up with a standalone conditioner. Um, because I wasn't using the standalone conditioner for a while, and it was it was a nightmare. So I'm like, all right, something's got to change. Bought a, 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 a standalone conditioner, used it, loved it. I think my my standalone conditioner actually has coconut oil in it, or it's coconut oil infused. That's what the bottle says, anyways. <laughs> Sometimes you can't really trust that, but it is it does really help. So definitely. Um, what you're doing is good, but definitely stay away from the, the you know, the three-in-ones. 
well, you can use them, but make sure you follow it up with a standalone conditioner. Conditioner is always a good thing. Doesn't matter what kind of hair you have. Okay. I think that's yeah, that's good for the cut. Um, let's give it a bit of a style. Uh, this is a different spray. Um, it kind of gives it a a, a, a messy look. Uh, not, not really anything. Anything crazy. Good. Excuse me. All right. Okay. That's good. How does that look? Good. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, uh, thank you for coming in and seeing me today. Um, I think you look fantastic, yeah. So uh, that's going to be it, and uh, you have a great day. Pay up to find you. The receptionist will get you. All right. You have a great day. Bye. Hey, come in. Have a seat. How you doing? Good. You have an appointment? Walking? Fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, we got some time, so we'll get you started. Um... So, what were you thinking about doing today? Mm hmm. Uh, haircut. Slight trim. Okay. And a shave. No, that's fine. Yeah. Um, well, let's go ahead and uh, get started. We'll just get some water in your hair. Um, basically, just, just kind of loosens it up and makes it easier for me to cut. So, why don't we get started? I always have to use my right hand. Uh, anytime I try using my uh, the scissors with my left hand, it becomes out a nightmare. So I'm just gonna have to do this a little bit. So you just get off work, or yeah. What do you do? Oh, okay. It's nice. Pays bills, yeah. Well. Every job does, right? <laughs> Hopefully every job does. Yeah, I always start with the haircut. Um, just because when the hair is down in your sides. It kind of makes it difficult to shave the beard a little bit because um, it kind of gets in the way. So, I'll work on those sides now actually. Okay. How much did you want off? Probably should have asked that at the beginning. Yeah, no, no worries. Now, okay, that's good. Yeah, I didn't start too much into it, so. Okay. That's good, that's good. Um. Yeah, I wasn't that busy today, I don't know why. Just nobody really wanted their haircut, I guess. Checking the door there. All right. Can I get in there a little bit more? A little bit more of this. Yep. What kind of products do you use for your hair, by the way? Okay, that, yeah. yeah. You follow it up with a conditioner? Absolutely. Yeah, my hair, I mean, as you can see, I haven't got my hair cut in a while. 
uh, but I always have to follow it up with a with a, a conditioner. Yeah, just um, yeah. For my routine, I actually um, I use a three in one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Um, and then I followed up with a standalone conditioner because the three in one the, the, the conditioner is never enough, right? And the shampoo's fine, but the conditioner in it. So I just basically use the three ones, just the shampoo, and then I put the conditioner and obviously the body wash, but I'm not concerned about that. <laughs> just concerned about your hair. Okay. Okay. Good? Yeah. A little bit more? Alright, that's fine. Just a little bit more, yeah. That's no problem. So we'll move on to your shave. Um, so then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to get some shave butter going. Yeah, we kind of have this stuff repaired off to the side. We just kind of finish it up when uh, when someone comes in wanting to shave. Yeah, so this uh, this the shave butter actually, um, it's not one that we actually sell. We use a special clean shop, um, or in the salon, I guess, barber, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, getting that on there okay. yeah how does that feel good great okay it's actually gonna do it for that um, so um, I'm going to I'll begin the straight razor shape that is what you wanted right okay I figured as much. When people come in for the shaving, usually they want the full experience. They want the straight. So. that feel good relaxing isn't it yeah i apologize if you hear any background noise um we try to keep things as relaxing as possible here You want it just clean or trimmed or just clean off? Okay. Well, what a drastic change. Yeah, going for a new look. Yeah, I get that. No, I completely understand. Door over there, me. 
make sure no one else is coming in. I'm by myself today. I apologize. Yeah, if someone if someone comes in, I gotta go take care of them. But then I'll obviously come back to you. And How's that feel? Good? Yeah, yeah. You just, uh, you just break on it. Just break, break it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there's a towel there. You can uh, use that to kind of wipe it off. Yeah, you look good. Alright, well. Thank you for coming in and seeing me today. Hey. Yeah, the reception's done. Uh, I could, I could take you up front. No, there's... I'm so used to saying you pay the receptionist, but we don't have a receptionist today. It's just me. I did tell you that already. So uh, I'll be up at the front, and you can uh, you can pay with me. All right. <laughs> have a good one. Have a good one. Bye. Hey man, how you doing? Good. Yeah, yeah. Take a seat. How you doing? Yeah, I already asked that. <laughs> so uh, you you called me because uh, you need a haircut. Yeah, I can do that for you. Yeah, uh, just sit back and relax. Start by uh, just, just wetting the hair a little bit. Makes it easier to cut, you know. Let's get started. So how have you been? Good? Yeah. Yeah, I've been alright myself. Uh, I'm just doing this, right? How much did you burn off? Okay. It's pretty drastic. Sure. You're the boss. That's starting to look good. Yeah, that's it's all right. So, so uh, doing anything fun recently? Doing anything for the weekend? Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah, the, me, ma, well, just you know, I relax on the weekend. Yeah, you know how it is. Weekend's my break time, right? <laughs> um, yeah? Yeah. Get a little more water on there, just don't mind me. Why don't I get my hair cut? <laughs> well, uh, you're gonna have to promise not to laugh at me. You promise? All right. Well, the reason I don't get my hair cut is that I actually don't like getting haircuts. And that is the only reason. If I enjoyed the experience, I'd get a haircut. But I really don't. You know, I know my hair is all wild, but I mean, what are you gonna do, right? Maybe at some point I'll get it done, but for now, no. If you can believe it, now listen to this. If you can believe it, the last time I got my hair cut, ready for this? September 2022. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Yeah, no. I'm. Not. That is. That is 100% fact. The uh, last time I got my hair cut was. Uh, what's it gonna be? 11 months ago. I just, I really don't like getting haircuts. Which is odd, because I give them. <laughs> I don't like somebody messing with my hair. I don't like, you know, things like that, so. Okay. 
Is that looking? Good? Yeah, we're not done yet. Yeah, I, believe it or not, I actually did just see Oppenheimer. Yeah, that, that, uh, no, I didn't see the Barbie movie, no. <laughs> no, I, I, I did not see that. Yeah, you know, the big meme or whatever that's like, uh, you know, there's a Barbie movie, top right over from Oppenheimer, is it a Barbie movie or vice versa? Yeah, no, I didn't do that. Oppenheimer was three hours. And that was enough for me. But you know what the funny thing is? This is actually the first time that I've been in a theater since 2020. Uh, the, the, the fun times that we had in that year. So it was the first time I've been in a theater since then. And you know what? I forgot how much I don't like the theater experience. I just don't. <laughs> I know. This, this sounds like, you know, this whole conversation we're having. It's like a lot of, a lot of what I don't like, right? But... I mean the theater experience. I, you know, they charge you out the charge you out the door for freaking everything, and then you get there and someone's loud next to you or someone's talking or that's just. And then someone's on their phone and it's. I'd much rather just watch a movie. Just in my house. Much rather do that. Which is why I liked when people, the, 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 the companies were making movies and then they would just release them on streaming services as well as theater. Um, so if you didn't want to go to the theater, you could just watch it on a streaming service like Netflix or whatever. I don't know. I, I, see, I saw a lot of them on um, oh, what was it? Apple TV Plus did it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, the Tetris movie. I love that movie, and that was that was one of those like released in streaming. As well, I I don't think that one released in theaters, but it just released on streaming services. Man, was that a good movie? That is a good movie. You got to see that. Have you seen it? No, you got to see it. Yeah, how's that looking? Yeah. Get a little more water in there. It's starting to dry up. God, it's so hot. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. It's just it's disgusting. And I don't handle the heat very well, so this summer has been terrible. Absolutely awful. Holy smokes. Yeah. Both times I've moved, uh, it's been during a heat wave, and usually I'm stuck in the house uh, with no air conditioning when I first move in, so both times it was during a heat wave, and it's, it's, uh... anyways, yeah, how's that feel? Look good, huh? You want a little bit more? Yeah, okay. How's that feel? Good. Do you want me to run some product over to go? Yeah, alright, I can do that. Um, here. Just spray some in there. My hands are clean, don't worry. <laughs> uh, 
That's starting to look good. How's that feel? Yeah. Does that look good or a little bit low? Okay. Excuse me. How's that? Good? All right, man. Well, it's good seeing you. Yeah, come back anytime. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, take a seat, get comfortable. How you doing today? Good, yeah. Uh, so, what are we doing with you today? Okay. It's a little, little off the top, but all right. Um, did you want any particular style, or did you just want, uh, you know, a nice, uh, nice, nice and short? Okay, yeah, we can do that. Um, well, uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? I'm just gonna get, uh, get some water in your hair, like, kind of wet it up a little bit, uh, just to make it easier to cut. How's that feel? Good, yeah. Well, uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? So how you doing today? Good? It's great. You just get off work or Yeah? That's not too bad. Is this for a particular occasion or anything like that? Oh okay. That's cool. How's this, how's that feeling? Is that alright? Yeah? Okay. Whoops. Let's let go of the scissors there, just about killed you. Alright. Okay. Just get a bit more water in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just get a bit more water. Me? Uh, yeah, you know, I, every person that comes in here, I, they tell me to get a haircut. And the crazy thing is, is that it's not going to happen. Yeah, actually, uh, the last time I got my haircut was September of last year. So it's coming up on a year now. I just I don't I don't want a haircut. It's it's a weird thing I don't know. I don't like them. It's weird. It's my job and I don't like haircuts. It's a bit bit a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, some people that come in like my hair, it's a, uh, it's uh, far and few between, or few and far between, uh, but some people do actually like my hair. You get you get the occasional one or two people that come in, like, yeah, I really like your hair, and then everyone else is like, God, you need a haircut. Can't please everyone. <laughs> Cannot please everyone. But I take pride in my work and. That's what matters. They're the ones here for the haircut, not me. Right? Yeah.
starting to look good. How's that looking? Yeah? Yeah, not bad? Alright. Did you want me to kind of style it at the end, or? Yeah? Alright, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we're not quite done yet, but, you know, we'll get there. Get your uh, bangs there a little bit. That's good. Looks good. Great. We got a little bit more to go yet before we can do our, your style, but we can certainly do that for you. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's really, really good. It feels good, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of scissors as well. It's uh it's 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 a weird it's a soothing sound almost. Yeah, a bit odd, but what are you gonna do, right? How's that feel? Good? Yeah, looks good, huh? Yeah, well, I'm quite quick with uh, with how I do things. So, um, I'm actually just going to grab a different uh, bottle here. And uh, this one uh, just has a bit of a, that, uh, that what what you need for your the style you want. So, if you don't mind, uh, don't, please don't mind the, the nozzle. It's a little loud. Yeah, this is this is what people say is the most relaxing part of our um, our haircuts here. It's almost a bit of a head massage, almost. Bit of a break there. Okay, that's good. Apologies. I'm just noticing a bit of a, a bit of a, a couple strands I missed. Uh, please, uh, don't worry. It's uh, completely normal for me to do that. 
Yeah, I won't mess up the style or anything. Don't worry about it. Just gonna grab a couple of these strands I missed. It's around the back there. Okay. Another major. Excuse me. Uh, how's it look? Yeah? Great. Yeah, you can just uh, pay up at the front there. Uh, I'll meet you up there. Um, yeah. Well, it's been, a, it's been a pleasure working with you. Yeah, you, I'll meet you up there. See ya. Oh, hey there. How you doing? Yeah, uh, thanks for coming in. So, uh, yeah, take a seat. Get comfortable. What can I do for you today? Okay. Okay, haircut and a shave. I can do that. Um, for the haircut, did you just want a, a little off the top? Did you want you know, a fade? Did you want just a trim? Okay. Yeah, that's great. Uh, let me set this hot towel to the side here. Um, we'll use that for the uh, the shave. So, um, so you just wanted just uh, just about that much off. Okay. Um, let me kind of wet your hair a little bit. Um, just makes it easier to cut. So please uh, just don't mind me. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that's just a little bit of water there. Let me just kind of run it through your hair. Alright. Well, why don't we get started with the cut? Yeah, I usually, uh, I usually cut hair first, um, just because um, sometimes when people's hair is really long, it gets in the way of the shave. So I just kind of force a habit. I know your hair is not exactly as long to get in the way, but it keeps things simple. Okay. So how you been? Yeah? Did you just get off work or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm still here. It's kind of a slow day today, so I'm kind of glad you came in. Uh, it's good to have, have somebody to talk to. Yeah, it's been pretty slow. Guess, uh, people are still working, I guess. Usually our rush hour is not until later. And then we don't have enough people <laughs> to, to cut everyone's hair. So. I feel like that's everybody's excuse these days. I don't have enough people. But then again, it's a valid excuse. When I when I worked in retail, it always seemed to be short on staff. Always. You never had enough people. But then again, with a job like that, you never do. This is for an occasion. Just trying something different. Yeah. Yeah, me. No, uh, I've not gotten my haircut since. Uh, well, we're going on a year now. Yeah, it'll be a year in September. If you can believe it. I'm not sure the exact date. Sometime in September was when I last uh, got my haircut. Crazy, isn't it? You know, it's you know, a lot of people ask me why I don't get my hair cut, um, including my family. <laughs> but the uh, the truth of the matter is that I actually don't like getting my hair cut, which is weird because I'm cutting your hair right now, and you'd think that someone like me would like having it done themselves. Not true. Yeah, actually, I can't stand getting my hair. When I used to have to do it when I was younger and my parents made me, I mean, they, they practically have to drag me to the haircut place. I mean, it was awful. It was a nightmare. But now that I'm an adult, 
you can't tell me what to do anymore. <laughs> right? Yeah. I know a lot of people like my hair. They think it really, they think it really suits me, and I appreciate that. I really, really do appreciate that. Okay. How's that looking? Yeah? A little bit more? A little bit more. Okay. Okay. Gonna get a little bit more water in there. It's starting to dry up a little bit. Yeah, it's so hot. It's awful. I put water in people's hair, and it's just, it just, it evaporates. It's so hot. you think the summer would be over by now, right? It's not. <laughs> Especially, you know, it's going to be a lot more humid now. You think it's almost September, and you think it'd be over. Sides. Okay, I can do that for you. Not a problem. I keep looking over there. I'm checking the, uh, the monitor, seeing if anyone else is coming through the door. But I don't think anyone's going to. It's, it's such a slow day. Okay. How's that look? Yeah? How about we get started with that shave? Yeah? So this is a, uh, a hot towel. I like to apply a hot towel um, to your face before I uh, apply the uh, shave butter and things like that. Um, it just kind of, it, it's it, not only is it relaxing, um, it just helps. So, um, yeah, this is uh, nice and hot. Um, not going to burn you or anything, it's just a... Uh, it's uh, gonna be nice and relaxing, so I want y'all to for me. Alright. I'll hold it there for a couple seconds. Let's say, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. How's that feel? Nice and relaxing, right? Yeah. Alright. Now, the uh, shave butter we apply is actually, um, we sell it. If you'd like to buy some, it's up at the front. And you can certainly do it do this yourself at home. Um, we do a straight razor shave here. Um, a lot of people are uncomfortable with straight razor shaves. Um, I don't really disagree. Um, I never, never let someone do it to me, <laughs> uh, but trust me, I'm qualified. It's just, it's something scary, you know, but there's nothing to be worried about or anything. Um, certainly, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for years. Um, yeah, I use one of the, the disposable razors. Well, not like it's not disposable. The disposable blades and the you get the razor. Yeah, I use one of those. What is it, Gillette? I guess the brand I use. I don't really pay attention. But yeah, that's the brand I use. I think, and um, works well enough. But I usually do straight razor shaves because most people that come in for a shave, they usually like that because um, they can't do it themselves. We really gotta mix this up, so just don't mind me. Yeah, a lot of people that come in here, they're, they're looking for that um, because they can't do it themselves or they don't trust themselves with it. Much like I don't trust myself uh, with doing my own, uh, but other people's I'm totally fine with. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and apply that a little bit? Mm-hmm. Alright. 
now that we have that applied. Uh, we'll get the straight razor shave started. You can close your eyes or just relax. Um, so it'll be over in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just taking care to go nice and easy. Some people's skin is a lot more sensitive than others. Do you have sensitive skin? Okay. So if you did if you would have said you did, um I'd recommend washing your face immediately. Just because of shave butter. It if you have more sensitive skin, it does a tendency to maybe dry out your skin a little bit. Um so I definitely recommend uh if you do have sensitive skin, I definitely recommend you uh you clean it, uh, do wash your face immediately after with just water, um, just kind of rehydrate it a little bit, uh, but you see you didn't have sensitive skin, so you're fine, you're alright. How's that feel? Good? That's great. We'll use that same hot towel to kind of wipe off your face a little bit when we're all done. Um, just because you don't want to go walking out with remnants of shave butter all over your face. Um, probably wouldn't look too good. No, it's definitely not a style choice. Definitely want to wipe that off. Yeah. How's that feel? Good. It's really awesome that you uh, came in and saw me today. Um, like I said, it's been a slow day, so good to have a friend here. Wrapping up here now. Just gonna, yeah. All right. How's that look? Pretty clean, huh? Yeah. Just get the top again. Okay. Yeah, just kind of wipe off your face a little bit. There you go. All right. How's that look? Looks pretty good, huh? Pretty fresh. Well, uh, thanks for coming and seeing me today. You have a good one. Bye. Hey, come in. Take a seat. Get comfortable. How you doing today? Good, yeah. Um, so what are we doing for you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, do you mind if I just take a look at your, your, uh, your hair? Thanks. Yeah, okay. We could definitely, could definitely do that for you. Um. Just, uh, did you, you don't need a wash or anything? No, okay. And you just, you, you want to shave too, right? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Um, let's get started. So, um, I'm just going to wet your hair, actually. Um, when your hair is wet, it actually makes it easier to cut. So I'll just get this out. Just some water, um, in here. So, um, let's get started. Let's begin. So how you been today? Yeah? Yeah, it's been slow today. I don't know, I guess not a lot of people want their hair cut. It's weird for a Saturday, but what are you going to do, right? Yeah, so. Bring your mouth stuck in there. Nah, yeah, well. You have your slow days and you have your, your good days. Actually, yesterday was pretty busy. Um for some reason but today now oh, you pretty, pretty much been my only customer yeah and how much did you want off the top um okay yeah we can do that okay that's starting to look good A little bit more water in there. Good. Yeah. I think I 
this arm looks well. So is this for a special occasion or anything? I'm just curious. Yeah. Hey, that's nice. Okay. Sorry, just uh, just checking the uh, the door, making sure no one else is coming in. Yeah, I'm the only one in today, so. Mm -hmm. It sucks when it's like that because I've got to run the whole shop by myself. But what are you gonna do? Yeah, to call off. Whatever. No big deal. Third one's missing out on money, right? Uh, they were sick. It's not, not a big deal. Okay. Looking good. Yeah. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm just going to get in there and kind of feel around. Okay. How's that feel? Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like the sound of scissors? Yeah, so do I. It's a weird soothing sound, isn't it? Now, as you, as you can tell, I haven't got my hair cut for quite some time. Uh, so, I'm mostly just listening to my own, my own scissors. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, uh, well, last month it would have been a year since I got my hair cut. Believe it or not. Yeah. It's uh, kind of crazy when you think about it like that. You like it? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It, it's you wouldn't th you, you, you wouldn't, most people don't believe me when I tell them I haven't got my hair cut for a year, right? Uh, but it, it also a lot of people say it's totally me. You know, so I guess this was really important is that it's me. I guess could you imagine me with short hair? I bet you can, and I bet you it's not pretty. <laughs> In fact, if you look back at old videos. And pictures of me. Um, you can see me with short hair. And actually, I have a scar um, that wraps around from ear to ear. Yeah, it goes around the back of my head. It's kind of like, kind of like a headband almost, but it's only just from the back of this ear to the back of that ear. Yeah, and then uh, that is from a surgery I had when I was an infant. Um, there's a name for it. There's a name for it, and I don't remember what it is. But basically, uh, I was born. Uh, without a soft spot on top of my head um so like the slightest tap would have killed me uh so basically they had to get in there and do something to my my skull um so that scar is actually where they cut to get to my skull and i was mm, from storage obviously i don't remember but i don't even think i was three months old yet um when they discovered this and kind of so every time i get my hair cut super short you can actually see where the hair won't grow because of the cut so like hair won't grow there so every time i get my hair cut super short people say i got a really people like to be like oh well you got a really bad haircut man oh my god not you actually believe it or not um <laughs> yeah no i've never gotten a, a comment or a, a review for my totally real haircut place um saying that I've got a really bad haircut but I just I just hate the scar you know it's like it's not cool like Harry Potter scar <laughs> it's like uh it's really annoying actually to look in to look into the mirror and turn my head like that and then just see the scar it's, it's annoying um so that's the I guess that'll be like the main reason why I don't get my haircut uh, it's because when I get it super short it, that scar is like completely visible and everybody thinks I got a bad haircut but I actually didn't it's a out of my control um, but I, another reason is I just like my hair long. I just really do. You know, I like, I, 
when people tell me to get the sides cut, keep the top. But I gotta be honest, I really I kinda like the uh, the floppiness, you know? Because I can do this and it's like fun. I feel like I'm gonna fly away. Anyways, <laughs> back to the roleplay. <laughs> so, um, is that good? Yeah? Yeah, that was something else I get distracted from what I'm supposed to be doing in the video. Just a talk. I think that keeps it fun, you know? Anyways, um, we're almost done with your hair. <laughs> so you said you wanted that shave too, right? Yeah? Okay, we can do that for you. Um, is that... How's that look? Yeah? You think? Yeah, I mean, it's it's slightly shorter now. I mean, yes, you, did, you know you didn't want all of it off, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, do you want me to style it for you or anything? Yeah, I can do that. So this, you know, this is just a, a bit of a, not really a hairspray, um, more of like a styling kind of spray. Um, I don't even think the spray bottle works. So I'll just pour some into my hand. Um, and then, um, and then, let's get some in my hand there. So, this is just gonna give it a bit of a style. Do you want kind of a messy look, kind of a smooth look? Messy, like me? Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so, I'm gonna get started. Then we'll give you that shave and you'll be good to go. Bump in the wall there. How's that look? Yeah? Hey, I'm like, glad you like it. So, um, why don't we, uh, oh, got a little bit of the the spray on me. Okay. Just wondering what was on my leg. Okay. Why don't we give you that shave? So we've got the shave butter ready here. I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. So this is just um this is just a really uh really it smells good too. I've never smelled it. Yeah, it's a it's a nice shave butter. Um so this is gonna basically the equivalent of shaving cream for a straight razor shave. Um so I'm just gonna paint this all over your face, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna shave. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we usually do straight razor shaves here. Um, that is what you wanted, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I find that the straight the straights are usually more relaxing than straight razor shaves. You know, I mean, you know, I've just I don't know. I just I don't use, I don't do it myself because I don't trust myself with I don't trust doing it myself I always have someone else do it for me um so trust me you're in good hands um it's not that I don't trust myself it's that I don't trust myself doing it in a mirror I know it's a weird thing I'm good to do it on somebody else but not me no, no way <laughs> alright let's let's put that on right yeah just yeah, right there okay. I don't actually want to this is kind of a rough brush. I don't really want to touch the camera lens. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go like this and get that on there. Uh, sorry to all you, all you uh, camera brushing guys. <laughs> I just uh, don't really want to scratch my lens. Yeah, it's a really like, you can hear it. It's a really rough brush. But um, there's plenty of other videos that I have that have camera brushing. Okay. Back to the video. <laughs> all right. So why don't we uh, shave your face? So you just you want all of this off, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, for as much as I don't want to get a haircut, the one thing I do always do is shave. Um, and I'm not a big fan of facial hair, um, at least not on me. I think other people could really rock it. Um, I definitely can't. Um, I know I've got a little bit coming in now, uh, but I gotta shave again. <laughs> uh, I usually try to keep my face pretty clean. Um, the most that'll happen is just a little bit of stubble. But I don't, I shave it almost immediately after. So it's really getting the show. Let's get a little bit of it there. Yeah, a little bit. I 
definitely, uh, definitely, um, I think other people look really great with it. I'm definitely not one of those people, though. I think some some of you might disagree. Um, but I definitely I definitely don't think I could do the face right. I've seen a lot of comments. It's not like I was having to grow a mustache. Uh, trust me, that would not be pretty. I've tried, and it's uh, not it's not a pleasant sight. As much as I would love to grow a mustache, like genuinely, I would be like I I'd draw like a giant handlebar mustache. That'd be awesome, but it doesn't do that. So. You can't really control all your facial hair, is and I think that's kind of lame. I mean, you can control it to a degree, but at some point it just becomes, it only grows in certain spots. Like for me, it's like I grow a massive neck beard. There's actually one video on this channel that's my favorite CV's video where I have a neck beard. And that was during uh, COVID, and I, I didn't shave it because I, I mean, I was so like, yeah. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to shave. I'm going to try this facial hair. And we're gonna see how it works out. And no, no, it wasn't pretty. So I definitely can't rock facial hair as much as the, the disappointment of you guys. I'm so sorry. I definitely can't do it. Anyways, um, I keep getting off the role play. I'm so sorry. I know this isn't very immersive, is it? Uh, maybe I'll do another haircut role play. That'll be better. Right, how's that feel? Yeah. Just uh, kind of splash some water on your face there. Kind of wash that off. Yeah. How's that look? Good? Yeah. Uh, thank you for coming and seeing me today. No, no charge. Uh, for a friend like you, no problem. Well, uh, I want to thank you for coming and seeing me today. And uh, you have a great one.